venture beyond the Iron Curtain to experience one of the rarest television events of 87. Billy jo Estimated time of arrival at each major town. Ninian, Wilcania, Broken Hill. Bruce is here. That means his Cooper's Crossing ETA is 12 noon today. Give or take a minute. Are you sure of that, DJ? I mean, doesn't the man have to sleep sometimes? Well, the beauty of it is that he doesn't sleep. He pops pills to stay awake. Oh, Don't you reckon it's kind of exciting? <laughs> No match for this guy. You look fit, Doc. Oh, I jog a bit. I play a bit of tennis. I did do some boxing once, but that was at school. Well, that's better than nothing, isn't it? Yeah, well... There's no reason, I suppose, I couldn't have a civilised chat with him, eh? No reason at all, mate. I mean, I feel no hostility towards the man. I mean, I don't even know the guy. I suppose I could talk to him peacefully. Just in case, Jack, I mean, I want you to be there, all right? You can count on the old Jack. Don't worry about it. Just one hit. I, I don't want you to rest him before the second. No worries, Doc. I mean, even if he goes, even if he makes his move, even if he touches me, I want you to grab him. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. Right, then. Um... Well, we could try something different. I mean, a different approach. Yeah. I mean, you could have a word with him. I mean, he'd, he'd go easier on a policeman, wouldn't he? Ah. Uh, well, to tell you the truth, Doc, uh, it might get a bit sticky, you know. I mean, I could get in there and <laughs> give him the old one, too. Drop him like a bag of spuds, you know, but uh, you know what they'd say. Police brutality. Oh, yes. Could get ugly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You see what I mean, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll be off then. All right, Doc. I wonder why on earth I get myself in. Does make you wonder, doesn't it? The whole thing's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. I mean, that monster, he, he could kill me, you know. I admire you, Jeff. Your stand, your decency. I mean it. Thanks. Just be careful. Yeah, I will. I don't want to see you get hurt. Guess what? Bruce is 50 k's from Cooper's Crossing. So why is the date of the wedding so important? Oh, I don't know. Well, for starters, there's a printing of the invitations. And being in the outback, people are busy. You know, there's long distances to travel. And because they're all going to be in town for the centenary celebrations anyway. So good old Violet is right in wanting to know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, maybe it's time to give up the fight and let nature take its course. Oh, well, let's face it, Emma, it sounds like the wedding and Violet are inevitable. Hi. I've got something to tell you. I don't want you to get upset. I want you to stay calm. Bruce is coming. He won't get near you. I knew he'd find me. Don't worry, I'll handle it. Oh, Annie, you can't handle it. I'll come into town with you. No, you won't. You're just staying right there. Now, Emma, see that she does. Now, everything's under control. No need to worry. Just want you to carry on with what you're doing. You all heard, Jack? Yeah. Only... To be safe, as a precaution, I want everybody off the streets. And that means everybody. We don't know whether this bloke's armed or, or what he is. But everything's under control. What do you reckon? I reckon Brucey's is going to make mincemeat of the doctor. Well, at least the doctor's got guts. Which is more than I can say for the rest of you lot. <laughs> well, uh, I'd like to do it for Jeff, but... Uh, well, I'm, I'm not young anymore. Me neither. Ten minutes, sir. 
Fudge? What? Ten minutes. Fudge Bunny's ten minutes away. Well, a gun. Yes. What, what are you saying? Bugs Bunny, Bruce, is ten minutes away. Do you reckon you're going to use it? DJ, go. Go. Go! Vanessa? Yeah, where is she? I'm... I'm Doc Standish. Look, uh, Vanessa's not very well. It's nothing too serious, but uh, she needs to rest for a while. Dad, it's, Dad, uh, just go, go. I'll explain later. Go on, go! Not a lot, but, um, I want to see Vanessa. Well, I don't think she's ready to see you right now. I don't care if she's ready or not. Look, uh, do you want to come in for, for a drink? Ah, uh, you're probably pretty thirsty. That's a pretty good truck you got. I want Vanessa. It's at his place. I'll show you. Oh, you look, uh, look, basically it's an eye problem. Just had about it... enough of you. No. pills and lack of sleep. What? He had a muscle spasm caused by an excess use of amphetamines. The expression is drug to the eyeballs. Hey, but you guys don't tell us all, right? Oh, I won't. Vic wants to hire you as a bouncer. Jack won't be able to arrest Bruce for assault, but he might arrest you. Oh, there's someone in reception for you. Oh, my God, to go off. Oh, it's so good to see you. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> now, you tell me what the hell's going on around here. Oh, well, it's a long story. Where is he? Bruce? Bruce? What have they done to you? Get away from him, you creep. But I... Don't touch him. Vanessa, are you... Want me at the wedding? Yes, she does. She probably set the date while I'm away. No, look, she won't. Well, it's all right. It's probably better that I'm not there. I hope you have a lovely wedding. Oh, come on, Mrs. C. No, you don't need to worry about me. I, I just want you to be happy. I want everyone to be happy. <laughs> Look, uh, why don't you fly the plane? Come on, look. It's easy. What, me? Yeah, yeah come on, look. Uh, just oh, hold on to that. Oh, no, Sham. I, 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 I couldn't. Hold on to it. So that's it now. Nice and easy. Gently, gently. Look, look. Now just keep it straight. Look. Oh, Sam. Fine. Well, Doc, we'd both like to thank you for everything. You sure you'll be all right? Yeah, he's going to give up the pills and the booze. You mean that? Sure do, Doc. 
Yeah, we're even going to sell the truck, pay off all the debts, start from scratch. I think that's great. You know you got a mighty punch for a doctor? I'll get it. <laughs> Thanks once again. Good. No worries. Come on, sweetheart. Bye. Don't bother coming back, Ken. This town's had a cup full of likes of you. Now on your bike. All set? Okay. okay. Stand by. And counting. Ten. What are you doing? I'm timing you. Everybody reckons you can't make it to Adelaide in 16 hours, but mate, I reckon you can. Forget it, mate. I'm giving up the game. Take that easy from now on. Wait a minute, you can't do that. I've got money on this. Bruce! Wait! Bruce! Come back! Wait! I'll give you 10% of the profits! Come back! Brucey! $10 to Bill. There's, a, there's this Irishman, see, and uh, he's got this load of penguins, <laughs> and he's on his way to the zoo. Victor Charlie Charlie to Mark Sierra Foxtrot. Go ahead, DJ. We've got someone here who wants to talk to Violet, Sam. Violet, it's Emma. I just wanted to let you know that I've decided on a wedding date. It'll be on the centenary weekend. I, I thought, oh, I'm so thrilled. Oh, that's all right with Sam. Oh, it's all right. And Violet, have a wonderful holiday. <laughs> oh. it, it, you're flying, Mr. C. Well, that settles it then, eh? Yeah, well, I can always change my mind later, I suppose. Yeah. I mean, I'm not even sure if I really want to get married. Come on, everybody. <laughs> Not every day I get this generous. You said it. <laughs> <laughs> Must be a tough job you've got. And it's hard going in the outback. <laughs> Very white I, love I do. Now, is there any more of that champagne left for a hard working, tireless doctor oh, and her partner? Oh, thank you, Jeffrey. <laughs> No. Oh. <laughs> 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 With uh, Emma and Sam. Emma, Emma and Sam. Sam. Oh! When we have a party, we don't fuck about. With gas or sticks or leaves and twigs that smoke or suddenly run out. No, when we have a barbie, we just roll a weber out. <laughs> That was the final episode of The Flying Doctors for 1987. Watch for a great new series of this popular program early next year. Stay with Nine Now for the continuing drama of The Fire Pavilions, starring Ben Cross and Amy Irving, and an outstanding cast bringing MMK's epic novel of 19th century India to life. It's outstanding entertainment beginning in just a few moments. <laughs>